We are live, baby. We are live. Live and direct. Live, live and direct. Live and live, 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 live and direct. <laughs> live and direct. Live, live and direct. It's your boy, always real, never fake. Alex K.O. Tech is in the building. Coming at you guys with another live stream. Another, 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 they really don't have customer support like that. And if they do, it's only from 7 a.m. to to 7, I mean, sorry, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So they're only open for 12 hours. So that's how they save a lot of money too. By only being open from 7, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Helium is saving a lot of money and they're limited on what they could do. Um, chat support is there 24 seven. You could reach them through the app. So um, they're kind of like, they kind of remind me of Visible, but in a way, they're slightly better because of customer service that you can talk to on the phone from 7 to 7, which is 12 hours. But um, either way, still great. Either way, still great, guys. Still great, still great, still great, still great. Still, great. still greatness, baby. So, yeah, guys. So. Um, Basically, um, for the most part, you know, almost 48 hours. Well, I think it's already been 48 hours, yeah. No, 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 no. It'll be 48 hours tomorrow. I activated Helium Saturday at 2 o'clock in the morning, yeah. So, um, I mean, Friday at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, 2 o'clock in the morning today, it'll be 48 hours. Um, later, I do like the Helium service. It connects to N41. I wish it would say 5G UC, but it doesn't. But the speeds are there. The speeds are definitely there, guys. And I want to show you on this live stream. On this live stream, baby. There you go. This is helium right now. For 20 bucks a month plus tax. And of course, it's going to say T Mobile, T Mobile, but it's not T Mobile, it's Helium. Helium Mobile. Shout out to Kazi. There you go. It says it right there Helium. Helium 5G. And that's what I like about Helium too. Helium didn't T-Mobile. Please just put the logo. You see this T-Mobile? You see this up here? Where visible doesn't say visible by Verizon, all big in the damn screen. Or Helium doesn't say Helium Mobile, so they don't have to take up too much of your screen real estate. How about you do that for Metro? Do me that favor. Do that for Metro. Just put Metro 5G UC. That's all you guys had to do. You didn't have to change the damn phone to say Metro by T-Mobile taking up all that screen real estate. Metro by T-Mobile reaches all the way to the almost the, the sign of bars of life on my iPhone. And I know that's nitpicking, but it's true. I hate that. I just I despise that. I despise that with a passion. So now let's take it to fast.com. We've seen we got 139 over 52.8. Let's do a fast.com speed test on Helium. I don't know why this app is so freaking bright. It's super freaking bright. It is super freaking bright. You got to wait. You guys can't even see the speed test because this is so bright. I'm not blind, bro. Leave. Hey, look. The fast.com um, app keeps pushing up my brightness on its own on my iPhone. Okay, so right now I'm getting 8.7 megs down, which is still great. Still 4K quality, 8.7 megs down. I don't know if I already went over my gigs because I know a lot of you guys. I've been speed testing a lot Helium Mobile in my room at nighttime. Oh, and yesterday, you guys seen it on the community tab. I reached a gig with Helium. I got a gig point something down and 100 or 84 up, I think it was. 
but I definitely got um great speeds. Let's let's look at that. Let me look at results. Let it load up the results. Here we go. 1015 over 88.1. And I screenshot it and put it in my community tab. And this is Helium Mobile. So let me check the Helium Mobile app to see if I went over my data. Do, 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 do. Nope, I'm at 25 gigs. Look at that. I already I used 25 gigs in less than two days. I'm gonna let you guys see because it's not gonna show my phone number. My phone number's on the top. Look at that. I have used 25 gigs, 25.6 gigs already on helium. 25.6 gigs and 8.58 hours, which it should count minutes, but it counts hours, whatever. On the phone. So you see that? That is crazy. 25.6 gigs in less than 48 hours. I told y'all I could do it. The route that I'm going, I'll be out of gigs before April 28th. But I want to see how slow it gets. But I don't want to kill the gigs yet because I did tell you guys I wanted to put helium versus um cricket, and I forgot to do that yesterday when I got home. I was tired. But I'm gonna remember to do it today for sure. I'm gonna pin Helium against Cricket before I run out of data and let you guys see that. For real, for real, let you guys see that. But yeah, guys, for the most part, um, Helium is working good. $21.18 with taxes is a hell of a deal. And I'm happy with the service. I mean, I don't know how many network resets I got to do to get a uh, Verizon visible working right. It's corny that I got to keep doing network resets in order to get visible to work like it's supposed to on my iPhone. But like I said, I'm not going to blame visible. I'm going to blame my iPhone because it's, it's, my, it's my iPhone's fault. It's not Verizon's fault that my phone has all these eSIMs and it can't like perform the way it needs to perform. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not um, Verizon's fault. You see, like it's only picking up low band on visible, and I'm on visible right now. See that? And if I do a network reset right now, it's gonna pick up 5G. You see? I mean, sorry, 5G UW. Watch this. Just watch. So all I want you guys to do is watch. Watch this. Because I already tried airplane mode in it. Watch, I'm gonna airplane mode it right now. See, I put it on airplane mode. Take it off to refresh the network. Picked up the bars again. Let's try another speed test. Thirty, forty ping, and still picking up low low band five G. You see. So watch me do a network. The thing that I hate about the network reset, to be completely honest, guys, is the fact that uh, it kicks me out a lot of apps. But I'm going to do it for YouTube purposes so I can show you guys. Reset, reset. See, I'm about to do a network reset. You guys see it right there. Network reset settings. It says delete all eSIMs. Nope. Network reset settings. Boom, boom, boom. Put my password. There we go. See, it's resetting. Now watch watch um visible pick up 5G UC. I mean 5G UW. Watch it pick up ultra. Ultra wideband. Well, it's gonna pick up N77. Because I'm not next to ultra wideband right now, but it will pick up, you know, 1077. And make sure you guys smash that like button, guys. It does help the algorithm for the um for the video to get abroad. You know. 
So it's doing this little Apple thing. This Wednesday coming up, I'm going to the Apple store. I'm going to look at my live stream. Look at how I got to reset the phone in order for it to work correctly. See? Look, as soon as I did that reset, what does it say on my screen? Visible 5G UW. You see what I'm talking about? Now, let's speed test it. Watch how fast it's going to be. So I think I don't I don't think I could keep these eSIMs on this phone. Oh, it's tanking on upload speed on C-band. What the fudge? And it's still connected to C-band. You see it's 5G UW. And it completely tanked on upload. Zero, zero, zero. What a five jitter. That's crazy. I'm glad you guys are seeing this. Let's do another one to give uh, Verizon a fair shot. Oh, there we go. There we go. I knew that was just a fluke. And there you go. I got to keep network resetting my iPhone in order to get the um, visible service to work. Right. You see? So sadly, what I'm going to have to do is delete Google Fi off my... um off my phone definitely going to cancel the google Fi service um i'm going to port the number out to to metro because it's 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 just easier talking to somebody on the phone instead of chat support with um with hinia mobile but um i'm going to delete all these eSIMs on the phone and for now and on when i test out an eSIM it's going to be on the 13 pro and not on the 14 pro because i don't want to experience these type of issues with oh nope look now it dropped back down to uh oh now i picked it up picked it up again it had dropped down to 5g regular 5g low band 5g but you see now it's keeping a connection to to uh visible i don't know why the iphone has issues with transmitting data like when i switch data from helium mobile to uh visible it messes up the visible data what's up walter what's good bro and you guys seen it and this has been going on since last year you guys remember since last year i've been having this issue with visible and i see i i'm not dumb guys i always thought it's gotta be an issue with the you know with um with eSIM, with eSIM, eSIM connectivity, switching from eSIM to eSIM. And that's where eSIM becomes an issue. This is shout out to Latrell Jennings, the homie, a brother from another mother. This is exactly why he doesn't like it either. He doesn't like the fact that eSIM reacts like this. It is basically the iPhone not recognizing thank you mm. yo can you believe Elena? can you believe they ate all my candy yeah Jelena told me. they had the bag under the sofa they ate all my sweetest fish no you and you and shadow ate oh, all my sweetest sweet fish oh i didn't know that i thought you were talking about the chocolate no my sweetest fish it was in my coat pocket and they went in the kitchen and yeah. and yeah. they ripped it open and they both ate it you they ate all my sweetest fish you're not getting none of my coconut candy, homie. 
You have enough sugar intake for today, homie. So, that being said, that leads me to believe that the iPhone, when I sit it, is not recognizing that's on another carrier, on the internet side of things. It's still thinking is on the other carrier. So that's why it doesn't pick up 5G UW. Say sorry to Poppy. Give me five for eating all my candy. And you might get some coconut candy. Give me five. Palu. Good boy. Good oh boy. Up here. Up here. Come on. Jump on Poppy's lap. Come on. Up here. Oh, come here. Come here. Really? Come here. You hear him? He, he like wants to talk. Come here. He looks so cute when he chews. I love you, Gershon. So, that's what's going on with the iPhone. So sadly, from now on, on, if I test out um Straight Talk, it's gonna be on the um iPhone 13 Pro. I don't, I don't like having issues with um visible. Like I said, for visible was my permanent Verizon solution, and every time I switch to eSIM, it has issues. But if I keep it on without um switching to eSIM. Mm, I need I need to drink some Tylenol. My my um molar hurts again. But you see, it's dropping the 5G UW. It dropped it again. Huh? So I don't know what's going on. I already reached out to um visible first told me because i got the screenshots as proof on my s22 that verizon is having um tower issues here in, in trenton new jersey that's what visible told me and i believe it because look i did a network reset and it went back down to five to low band 5g so it's not my iphone definitely not my iphone I'm not gonna network reset my iPhone a thousand times just to get, you know, 5G UW on my screen. I'm switching it back to um a mobile. Because I know it, it can't I, I don't know why I was saying that. It can't be that because if it was like that, then it would give me um problems on Helium Mobile. It would give me problems on Metro. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't. It really doesn't. So let's do. Forgot I can't eat with the right side, with the left side. My molar hurts really bad. I heard it last night. Now helium. I don't know why you do when you do a network reset. Helium um drops down to lte like you literally have to go through the settings all over again as you guys can see here helium dropped to lte and put it on 5g auto i guess they do that as a default so you don't use all your gigabytes fast but i don't care speed test again
Right now, I don't know what kind of issues is going on, but as you guys can see, I'm getting 20.6 over 60 something. So the download is not as fast. Let me check my T Mobile business line. Take it off of Wi Fi. Oh. And let's do a speed test. Yeah, so T Mobile's definitely having issues. Definitely having issues. Mm hmm. It doesn't tank, but it's not giving me the speeds. I used to get five, six hundred down. I'm not getting that, guys. This is what I'm getting right now. So technically, guys, there's nothing I could do about that. Every network is having issues. That's crazy. You see what I'm talking about? I don't want to get into details again because my my live stream was flagged. It is under review for me speaking the truth on my last live stream. How I felt about certain situations that I'm not going to repeat. And my live stream is still in the review. And I did that live stream on Wednesday. So my live stream from Wednesday is still in the review on a Saturday. So it's not cool. I don't appreciate. Look, if we don't have the same um, mind process or you disagree with what I'm saying, that doesn't mean you have to sit here and flag my live stream. That's not cool. Feel me? That's not cool at all. Which I know eventually YouTube is going to say, yeah, you didn't violate no terms and conditions. Your live stream could stay up. But now I see that, you know, people are trying to, um, how would I put this in simpler terms? People are trying to, like, mute. My freedom of speech is the best way I can say. Because it was um it was the live stream that I did talking about guns and talking about the whole situation that I talked about last time, guys. What's up, Tim? And like I said, the live stream got flagged. I don't know who it was, so I can't say. All I know is that I know it got flagged because of that. Because YouTube lets you know why your live stream is on the review. And it's because I was talking about the gun reform and I was talking about, you know, how our phones could be jeopardized in a way. And how I felt that all my phones was losing service for a reason. So, you know, I don't want to go. You guys see the proof there. T-Mobile business dropping speeds, Helium dropping speeds. A visible dropping speeds the proof is there so how is it that let me see let me see cricket <laughs> let me see cricket if cricket drops speeds too that's it i don't want to hear nothing i'm not even going to go to full details like i said i don't want i don't want my live stream flagged i don't want my live stream flagged because when it gets flagged this way i'm not making no money see look Hold on. Eight nah, AT and T still pushing it. AT and T still pushing it, but it started really slow. The upload is kind of taking a hit, but it's still better than nothing. But like I was telling you guys, it's just weird that visible and and T I mean, yeah, Verizon and T Mobile are having similar issues with the internet. I don't know if there's internet outages. I don't, all I'm saying is I'm not going to go into details because I don't want my live stream flagged. Even though this has to do with tech, you know, this is these live streams are called hashtag real talk. Let's talk mobile and tech. But, you know, I don't want 
like I said, my live stream flagged. So. And I guess since it was it wasn't like an hour and some change live stream, it's taking long for for YouTube to decipher if it's you know deemed to stay up or deemed to be deleted or demonetized is the best way I can put it. And if they demonetize that live stream, then I'm not making nothing. But like I said, you know, I would just appreciate it to the people that watch me to respect my point of view, just like I respect yours. You know, we don't have to agree on everything, but it's just not right to do that, to flag my live stream because I feel some type of way that other people feel because that live stream has like 15 likes. So a lot of people agreed with me that were watching. So I just don't like that. You know, if you have a different point of view to sit there and flag my live stream because you didn't like what I was saying about the gun reforms and, you know, what I think about what would happen to our cell phones and, and you know, and stuff that people, guys, you need to understand. If the live stream is called Real Talk, I'm being brutally honest. It wouldn't be called real talk, you know, uh, and if I start my live stream, you know, always real, never fake, then that's a dead giveaway, too. Now, we, we don't have we could agree to disagree respectfully is what I'm trying to say. If you had if you had a problem with what I said, you could have just commented. I had people comment before and say, Alex, I don't agree with what you said about Joe Biden, but they didn't sit here and flag my live stream. And I said, okay. But he said, I respect your opinion. And I said, I respect yours too, bro. You know, I'm a very respectful person. I respect everybody. And he said, no, no, I know. I know you changed a lot and I appreciate that. You, you're a grown man, you know, you changed your ways. And I respect you for that. But you see, he did not sit here and flag my live stream. He didn't say, well, I don't like what Alex is saying about Joe Biden. Boom, let's put his live stream under review. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's corny. Like, that's let's not do that. If you, if you want to debate, we can debate in the bottom of the comment section. But putting my live stream under under review because you did not agree with what I was saying about gun reforms. That's just your opinion. You feel me? Like, that's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. You're hurting people's money by doing that. So, you know, uh, because the type of review that I got on that live stream, um, the notification that I got from Google, um, you know, Google, YouTube itself, it said that I would not be making money while it was under review. So you see, that's hurting me. That's literally hurting me. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to disagree, you want to agree to disagree, the comment section is there, man. As long as you keep it respectful and commentary friendly then your comments won't be deleted but if you go crazy on there and say some crazy stuff towards me then youtube is going to deem that your commenting is obnoxious and deleted itself and it's not it's not me deleting your comment it's youtube and if you do it too many times they will give you a copy straight trust and believe that if you get too disrespectful on somebody's plat on somebody's youtube channel they will give you a copy strike for um, violating the terms and conditions of friendly commenting. And you know how I know? Because I got a copy strike because of that before. A long time ago, when me and um, Magic Tech Review didn't get along, I was arguing with him in his comment section and they kept giving me warnings and copy strike served. So that's what I'm saying. Like we could We could agree to disagree, but let's keep it respectful. There's no reason for you to um, put my live stream under review because of what I said about gun reforms, because that's exactly why my live stream went under review, because of what I said about that the law needs to stay the same, because it's true. It is really true, guys. Can a gun pick up, you know, can a gun shoot itself? No, that's just like, this knife right here is the one that I stabbed myself in the finger with. The video is still up on the shorts. I got to, my body had to get used to this piece of skin that grew over. And I almost lost um, movement of this finger. I almost severed my tendons of my middle finger in my left hand. 
So the tip of this, this whole tip of this knife right here went inside my finger. So did the knife do that? Or was it me being an idiot trying to open mouthwash? You know how it has that hard plastic on the top? Trying to open mouthwash and I slipped and I went boom and stuck it in my finger. It's the same thing. Did the knife stab me or did I stab myself by mistake? I stabbed myself by mistake. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. A gun cannot shoot itself. I can shoot myself for playing with a gun by mistake, but can the gun, you know, go in the air and be like, I'm going to shoot you and, and shoot you? No. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, I think things need to be left alone, man. I think what needs to be done is mental awareness, like for real. Like the United States in general, um, the government needs to help these people that have midlife crisis and have uh mental issues you know and that's what needs to be done um parents need to pay more attention if their kids are being bullied in school johnny bobby keith brenda jessica how's school going i ask my daughter every single day juju when she gets out of school baby how was your day it was good dad and that's how you're supposed to do it you know that if there's any problems, you could tell me, right? If somebody's bullying you, if somebody's harassing you, if somebody's training you, you can tell me, right? You can tell me and you can also reach out to your teacher or your counselor, your guidance counselor. Yeah, I know that. And that's what you're supposed to tell your kids. Not wait till they have a midlife crisis and they want to shoot up a school. Or go purchase a whole bunch of guns and you're like, okay, this is normal. No, oh, man. It's not. It's not. And like, I feel like bigger YouTubers should be talking about this, but they don't. But I care. Because, because like I told you guys a long time ago. Oh, yo, yo. Don't, um, like I told you guys before, I was bullied. Close that. The TV, beat those TVs. The TV downstairs is way too loud. Um, You know, I was bullied in school. Bullied in school for like three years in high school. And I never had any type of thought to retaliate by going back to high school and shooting everybody. That wasn't my mind of process. But in the 90s, the 80s babies were built different. That's what I can say. No disrespect because my daughter was born. Well, she was born in 2000. My fiance, she was born in the 90s. The mother of my daughter was, well, all three of my baby mamas were born in the 90s. So um, no disrespect to nobody born in the 90s. But in the 80s, we handled bullying differently. And it's, it's a true fact. You know, people that were born in the 80s handled bully differently in the, in the 90s. Bullying has been around since the beginning of the time. Now, the thing is, how do you handle your bullying? Do you reach out to your parents? Do you talk to your friends? Like there's got to be some in between. Some in between. To be honest, there has to be some in between. There can't just be, you know, anger, anger, anger and not talking about nothing. So if you're a parent and your kid is going to high school. Like my daughter is you need to pay attention you need to um and my son i talk to my son almost every day alex how's school good dad is anybody messing with you no dad are you okay are you feeling good yes dad that's all that is all it's not that difficult because let me tell you something and you apologizing for your son's behavior does not bring people back from the dead. And that is a fact. This is not a movie. This is life. You're not coming back. Once you're dead, you're dead. That's all she wrote. You feel what I'm saying? And I understand some people might not want to hear this, but 
there's people that appreciate when I do talk about situations like this. Because they're like, damn, I wish bigger met people that, you know, KBHD or unbox therapy, people in that stature would talk about these situations. But that's not in their nature to talk about it. You got to remember, they have um, they have sponsorship with these companies where they have clause that they'll get sued if they wander off and talk about whatever this company doesn't want you to talk about. That's like if I had sponsorship. Let's say I had a sponsorship with Apple, uh, Samsung, T-Mobile, whatever, whoever it was. And they say, Alex, you're going to sign on this contract that you're not going to talk about bullying. You're not going to talk about suicide. You're not going to talk about anything to hurt our brand on your live streams or on your videos. And we'll pay you this lump sum of money or we'll break it down into payments. And I sign on that dotted line. That means I can't speak my mind. But since I don't have no sponsorship and my only employer is YouTube on here. You know, and YouTube itself for AdSense because they own AdSense. Um, I could I could feel free to speak my mind. You know what I'm saying? But I just think that I don't want to drag be the dead dog too long, drag it on too long. But I that's that's really how I feel. I feel like you as a parent, you need to start reaching out to your kids. Like I said, I didn't mean to be disrespectful, but it's true. You know, when I went when I went to high school in the 90s, I got bullied and I never thought I'm going to go home and get a gun and come do what I got to do in school. No, that was never I would I was in my mind saying how I'm going to punch him in his mouth. How I'm going to kick his ass. And I kicked every bully's ass except one because the other one, we became best friends before we got into a fight. But the other three, we fought in the story. We fought. Whether they beat me or not, I was going to go down fighting. And that's how I handled things. Fighting. You know, because as a human, as a person, as a man, you could only take so much. So at the end of the day, everybody has a breaking point. Everybody has a snapping point. Every Everybody has a point where they can't take it anymore and they're just going to take matters into their own hands. But my taking matters in my, to my own hands was fighting. Dead serious, fighting. <clears throat> so, you know, I just think that as a parent, like I said, be aware of what your kid is getting into. Um, don't invite, don't invade their privacy, but like, you know, ask them questions. Are you sure? You kind of look stressed out. You've been looking stressed out for these last couple of days. Are you feeling all right? You know? Because like I said, an apology from you, it's not going to bring nobody else's life back. So you gonna you got to nail the problem in the butt when it's there, not when it's out of your control. When it's in your control, that's when you got to do it. Not when it's out of your control. Sorry, Mr. Sorry. But other than that, guys, um, like I said, I don't know what's wrong with Verizon and T-Mobile having these sorts of issues of these, you know, speech dropping. So hopefully they get it fixed sooner than later. And Rusty wants to come Join the live stream. You wanted to join the live stream, Grizzly? Huh? Mm -hmm. oh. My hair was short and you wanted to join the live stream? Huh? huh? So, that's about it, guys. That is definitely about it. Can I say Helium Mobile is worth it at $21.18 plus tax a month? Yes, because they don't change your billing cycle. The same day you activate service is the same day you're going to pay your service, and your billing cycle is not going to change regardless of how many days in a month there is. And that's a fact. So I recommend Helium 
A hundred percent, guys. A hundred percent. So, yeah, guys. Other than that, I mean, that's it. There's not really too much I can um talk about. I mean, when it comes, I can still talk about tech, though. You just wanted people to see you on camera. Um, I love this Soundcore speaker. This thing probably weighs like a two pounds, maybe, maybe three. It's not that heavy, and it sounds a little loud. And the bass is amazing, and it's waterproof. It is waterproof, not water resistant. Waterproof. It's gonna float on top of the water, but it could be submerged. As long as you got this little flap back here closed. Okay, Mr. Speed Racer. As long as you got this flap back here closed, this speaker is waterproof. And Soundcore is from Anchor. It's a great brand. And this little speaker packs a punch. And when I mean a punch, I mean a punch. Is really loud, and I even got the uh, the brother of it. It has lights in the speakers. This one has no lights in the speaker, and it lasts 24 hours on one charge, and it's USB Type C. So yay, USB Type C speaker! It'll get charged faster, and it has the Soundcore branding on the handle right there, and the build quality is amazing. I like this little small speaker. I mean, I can let you guys hear like a little snippet of how loud it is without, you know, messing up my monetization. There you go. There you go. When it goes, you know, it connected. It has connected. So. Let's play some. Let's play some non copyrighted music, even though YouTube gives me issues with this sometimes, even though they see in the live stream. Non copyright tracks. Hmm? It's crazy. It took me to videos of what I was talking about. When was this? Eight days ago. This is the black card of debit card. See? Yeah, it's crazy. You see, now I looked up non copyrighted music and look, it would have pulled up. Thanks, Kim. Now to some breaking news out of Russia this afternoon, where police say 40 people died and more than 100 were wounded in a terror attack at a Moscow concert hall this evening. We're told several gunmen burst into the concert hall on the edge of Moscow and then sprayed visitors with automatic gunfire before starting a massive fire. Video posted on social media shows huge plumes of black smoke rising over the building, which can accommodate more than 6,000 people. As of right now, no one has claimed responsibility for that attack. You see, I was talking about that. That's crazy. That is crazy. All right. Non copyrighted music. And you can also talk to this through the speaker to your friends. And it sounds clear as ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. YouTube, you see right there, it says non copyright instrumental music. Let's play it. Hey, 
consequências também. That's like a soothing song. That's like something you go to sleep to. But yeah, you guys heard this? <laughs> this sound core motion boom is the truth. They came out with the two version. It has lights on the subwoofers. I don't know why people call these capacitive radiators. If you look up these speakers on YouTube, you'll see not bigger than me because they're not bigger than me. They got like probably like five, six, seven thousand subs. One might have 15,000, but they're not bigger than me. But they call these subwoofers capacitive radiators. I don't know if that's the technical term of a subwoofer, a capacitive radiator. But when I hear the, the word radiator, I think about a car radiator. The radiator that keeps your car or your truck or your van from overheating. I never in my life, and I'm 41 years old, have ever heard somebody call a subwoofer a capacitive radiator because to me it just makes no damn sense this is not a vehicle this is a piece of technology it's a bluetooth speaker not and when you turn it off it makes that cool noise it is this not this is not a car so to call these capacitive radiators to me is just idiotic they're called subwoofers and that's exactly what I'm going to call them. So I want to make a review on the speaker because this is my tech channel. Um, I want to throw in speaker reviews here and there. Um, on the Real Talk channel, I mean, I could do it, but I've been putting up so much soap videos on there. It's, it's going to be like hard to juggle things you get what i'm saying and i already got the unboxing of the speaker on here so i might as well just do the review and the recommendation of the speaker but no offense to anybody man if you're a content creator and you see me and you call these capacitive radiators that's on you look i'm not gonna call it that i'm gonna call it subwoofers because i got into an argument with one of you guys you guys thought I was some young boy. Oh, man, you're probably like 24. You don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm 41, son. 41 years old. Probably older than you. So I'm not going to call something when I was born in 1982. And for my whole life, I always heard these were called subwoofers, not capacitive radiators. So please, you know, if you want to call something, if uh, something is like it's like when um Ricky says, just because they want to call c band c band and it's really s band you know people call it c band then i mean just please guys if if you're part of my squad don't don't call these capacitive radiators these are subwoofers you guys remember subwoofer from um oregon what's up with y'all what's good buddy you know these are called subwoofers not radiators remember that guys subwoofers not radiators these are capacitive subwoofers that move up and down and create bass for the speaker i don't care what nobody else says subwoofers and then this speaker has bigger subwoofers i'll show it to you guys right now latrell what's up bro how was your day this one's 80 bucks on TikTok and $190 with a $10 discount on Amazon. It's a smaller speaker. This one is an 80 watt speaker from this brand on that's available at Walmart. I unboxed this one here too. This one has bigger subwoofers. You hear that? It's a subwoofer. It is not a, and this one has lights. This one has lights. I'm gonna let you guys see this one too. Or on and this one talks. Bluetooth talk. pairing. Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. 
So it has cool lights. I'm gonna turn off the lights so you guys can see the cool lights. They look really cool. Um, let me go back to the video I was playing. That's non-copyright music. Y'all don't got arcade, y'all better get arcade. It has the best samples in the game. Virtual instruments, samplers, it's pretty much everything in one. I don't know why this one's called sad, but. Oh, yeah, you can tell by the beat, the beat. Yeah. It's like a sad beat. This is like a piano. This one's really loud, too, but you guys can see the brightness of them lights and you can change the lights. And this one's loud, so $68. Love that track. Love that track. So you guys see that the lights go with the beat. You see how it slowed down? The lights go with the beat. So I think that's freaking awesome. You see they're not going fast. Now watch me play the music again. Every time it goes doom, 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 it goes faster. See, doom, doom. That's awesome. And we got different light shows. See, it goes hard. I'm gonna rewind. And then you can turn it off. 
So I think I'm gonna start cutting carbs. I need to drop. This speaker is definitely worth the $68 plus tax. Available at Walmart, Walmart.com. It's from the brand on O N N. Right there, you guys see it on the door hand. I mean, on the door handle, on the handle of the speaker. Great build quality. It is heavier, of course, because it's a bigger speaker, bigger subwoofers. Not capacitor radiators, bigger subwoofers. So heavier speaker. I would say the loudness is loud. It is loud, as you guys can see. I love technology. It has the bass booster. When you add the bass booster to these speakers, to the sound core and this one, they do get louder. It tells you what where the volume is set to right here digitally. Um, this one has uh, 16 hours of battery life. USB Type C. All my speakers are USB Type C, and I just love it. The lights show you guys see see how the lights. It looks like a freaking club. The lights go with the beat. So I just think that's that's something amazing. Um, I love that track. I want to play it again. And I want to turn off the lights and I mean, turn off the lights in the room and let you guys admire this, this glow. Let's do it. All right, so the moral of the story, the speaker is the truth. $68, $68. You cannot beat it plus tax. You hear the sound. You see the you see the lights. You hear the music. The sound quality is good. It tells you when it's powered on and it's powered off. And thank you to the people that still support it. Me showing you different technology. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. I got to review these speakers on this channel. Um, you know, I got a lot of views on these speakers, so I don't want to transition over there. You guys know that my main focus is mobile. I'm still going to do a mobile for you guys, but I want to throw speakers into this channel. I told you guys for the last two years that I want to transition to talk about different tech. And I would appreciate if you guys support me on this journey. Seriously. Um, You guys see the special tech that goes into these speakers. These are LED lights in these speakers. Or they call them, I'm sorry, RBG lights. RBG lights in these speakers, and they look amazing. So imagine having this chilling, you know, with your girl or your homies and playing Tupac or whatever you want to listen to with the lights. I just think it looks amazing. Whatever you want to listen to, rock and roll, whatever you want to listen to, these speakers are great at it. These speakers are definitely great at it. I got a ton of speakers. Um, it's, it's just a lot of speakers. I got a lot of speakers. And I love the speakers, like I said. I sold a couple of them that I didn't really like. I sold one to my brother. I sold one to my brother's best friend. And I sold another one to my other brother's best friend because I didn't like the fact that they had the lights on here. Some people might like that, but I like carrying them on the street. 
like I used to in the 90s. I used to walk around with a boom box when I was 17 and 18 and like rah, rah, jam into some Nas, some Mon Deep, some, some Ludacris, some Eminem, you know, early 2000s. I was still jamming with a speaker in my hand. So, um, yeah. So this reminds me of my childhood and when I had happy memories of me walking around with a boom box. So if you want something light and portable and you don't care about lights, then you go with this one. Or I'm gonna show you guys the, the light version of it. I'm not gonna take it out the box, but I'm gonna show it to you guys in the box. Because I'm running on limited time and I gotta go. So here goes the same sound core speaker you see right there. Just with lights, it's the same speaker. This one has 16 hour battery life though, because of the, I guess the lights, that one has 24 hours because it doesn't have lights. And you could download the app to control the equalizer. See, Soundcore by Anchor. So it's a great speaker. This one's also waterproof. And it's 40 Hertz, whatever that's supposed to mean. So, you know, a nice little speaker, nice little speaker. This is the box to the one that I showed you guys. See, this one says 24 hours of battery life. It says right there, 24 hours, because it doesn't have lights and that's, this is this box to so this one. I bought this one on TikTok. I told you guys I buy a lot of stuff on TikTok. They be having great deals on TikTok. And this is the box to the on one. This is the box you're going to see at Walmart. I bought mine on my local Walmart. So you see. And it has 16 hours of battery life, which is not bad. It's Bluetooth and it's also waterproof. It says right here, IP67. Well, it says IPX7 waterproof not water resistant waterproof so most of mostly all my speakers are waterproof mostly all of them are, are waterproof you know and then i got this other uh beast that's from apatronics i don't know if this one this one's really heavy i didn't sell this one because this is like a 300 dollars speaker and you could be as far as 33 feet away from it and it'll still play music i don't know if this one's waterproof it doesn't say it nowhere no, I'm not seeing nothing about waterproof on the speaker. Um, so, oh yeah, this one's um, waterproof level IP6, IPX6, not submergible. So this one is not submergible. So then it's not waterproof. I don't get it. It says it says IPX7, IPX6, not submergible. So I guess it could take a splash. But here we go. And this is a beast of a speaker. This one's just as heavy as this one. This one probably weighs like five pounds. This one probably weighs like five pounds too. And it's really, really loud. And I did the unboxing on this channel. You know, so this one doesn't have lights either. But I just love the base of it. It reminds me of an old uh, old school speaker. Like those speakers you see from the um, old school movies from the early 90s and 80s. It kind of got like that old old school radio vibe and that's what i like about it it has like that old school radio vibe so i gotta do a review on that speaker too there's a whole bunch of speakers that i got the reviews on there's a brand that i love it's upstairs my um is d-o-s-s -S, docs i think it's called something like that docs and it has a lot of bad reviews on here but people don't know what the hell they're talking about it's saying the music is distorted. I've been testing it for over a month. I bought that speaker in December of last year. Yeah, yeah, no, I bought it on Amazon. My Amazon cart said I bought it in Bufte. November 25th was when I bought it. So that's December, January, February, March. I had it for four months and the speaker hasn't got distorted on no rock and roll, no hip hop, no reggaeton. No salsa, no bachata, no genre of music has the speaker got distorted on. And it's a hell of a speaker. It has 60 watts. It has great bass. It has great subwoofers. It's just an awesome speaker. I got to do a review, my four-month review on that one. This one, I got it at the same time. So this one is four months old, too, that when I bought it. I bought it back in November on TikTok. So I got to do a review on this one. And this one, I bought it in january yeah in january i seen a guy talking about it a smaller youtuber and i went and purchased it and it, and i don't regret paying 69 70 with taxes for this speaker 
so yeah guys follow me on this journey i'm not going to forget about tech like i said from now and on next month in april probably towards the middle of april i'm gonna try uh um straight talk and it's going to be on my 13 pro no more lines on my 14 pro it's getting cluttered with eSIMs and the service is just going crazy but yeah guys i'm going to say like comment and subscribe god bless take care and be safe you guys know i gotta get the word um smash that like button support your boy um before i run out of internet on the helium i am going to speed test it against cricket when it gets faster speeds not right now because it's not fair you guys seen that team was having problems so we'll see you at two o'clock in the morning. They don't have problems, then that'll be an easy match. I mean, a fair fight. So yeah, guys, Um, I'm definitely going to catch you guys on the next one. Take care. God bless and be safe. To you already, guys, and thank you for watching. Oh, and make sure you support Sneed, Carlos, Carlos S Tech, Sneed Mobile Tech, the Chell Jennings, um, RVL Tech USA, uh, Tito Aloha Android, Chanel 808 Life, um, my boy um jesus what's his name little mac and jtv and my other channels if you want to support my other channels too you know my uh sneaker channel alex kicks but just put ak24 pr because too many people on here with alex kicks as a name for some odd reason after i put it there's like a whole bunch of people sprung out and wanted to change their name because when i put it i always do this even in social media i put in a name and if it has no results, that's when I use it. So now, after what two years of me having that sneaker channel up, um, people want to use Alex Kicks. So just look at put you know AK twenty four PR, lowercase P, uh, capital R, and you'll it'll pull it up. And then for the sneaker channel, is AR twenty four PR. Same thing, lowercase P, capital R, and it'll pull it up. And that's one where I talk about Arabic. I got to do a review on my Arabic colognes. They smell the bomb. Like the one that I got on right now, amazing. The scent is amazing. It's an amazing smell. So I love it. So, you know, those Arabic colognes got a lot of views. So, yeah, guys, if you want to guys want to support me on that path too, then go right ahead. Would highly appreciate it. That's my other channels. But, um, yeah, um, I already said Chanel 808 Life, uh, Tito Aloha Android uh magic tech review v tech reviews uh tim tech wise <laughs> the homie and like i said lachelle jennings and if i forgot anybody i'm sorry and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one guys deuces my homies <laughs>